Rotation is a key element of the front crawl stroke. It enables you to be strong and efficient in the water. So once you have mastered the coordination of your arms and your legs, it's time to look at the body roll. Yeah, now this movement might well seem a little bit unnatural and hard to get the hang of, but once you start feeling used to getting into that pool and rotating with each stroke, you'll be amazed at how much faster you'll swim front crawl and how much easier it's gonna feel. So it's time to find that perfect body rotation. go any further, I just want to clarify what we mean by rotation. So in swimming terms, it's a movement around a central axis that goes down through your head, your shoulders, your torso, and then an imaginary line in which your legs move either side of. Yeah, and you want to think of your body lying horizontal in the water, but rotating 45 degrees to each side of that axis, with thinking of zero as being parallel face down to the pool floor. Now for each stroke cycle, so that one left pull, one right pull, we're gonna think about doing two rotations each tide when we're swimming. You might be questioning how this additional movement can actually benefit your stroke. Well, efficient swimming is very much about having a strong propulsive phase in your stroke and also having a correct body position and rotation will benefit both of these aspects. Now, reducing drag is key in any sport really, but especially in swimming with the density of water that we've got to overcome. So by rotating when we're swimming, this allows us to take our recovery arm out of the water, which is less drag in itself. And it also allows us to breathe a lot easier because we can clear the water much quicker to get that air in. Yeah, and rotating into your catch is not only going to help you catch the water, but then also as you rotate over the pull phase of it, it allows you to recruit those larger muscles and it's going to put less strain on those smaller muscles around your shoulders, which are susceptible to overuse, as well as allowing you to put more power through the stroke. Making a significant change to any aspect of your stroke is going to require a lot of time and patience. And rotation is no different. So we need to break the stroke down. And that is where these drills come in handy. Let's start by stripping it right back and taking the arms out of the equation. For this one, it's a good idea to pop some fins on as it will help you with propulsion and keep your body horizontal in the water. Push off the wall with arms in front of you and then pull one hand down to your thigh and leave it by your side with the other arm still extended out in front. And now rotate your body so that your extended arm is underneath your body and your arm against your thigh is on top, just on the surface. This should position you parallel to the lane rope or the side of the pool. And then in this position, you should find it easier to breathe by just having to turn your head slightly. No, this is just a drill as you are rotated to a full 90 degrees, but when you come back to full stroke, it should give you more of an idea of how that rotation feels in the water. Make sure you stay on one side for one length, swap over onto the other side and swap your arms over to correlate. So it's a natural progression to then add some arms back into your swimming, but still in this drill type format. So what we're gonna do is find that rotated position that we were in in the previous drill, but then we're gonna have one arm out front and kick for six kicks before then sending through with the other arm that's been resting and flipping onto the other rotated side and with another six kicks, keep doing that right down the length of the pool. You can of course keep your fins on if that's gonna make things a little bit easier. Now, although this does seem like an exaggerated rotation position to be in, it really helps to bring those strokes back into the stroke from those other drills and then just start putting the stroke back together. It's time to up the tempo for the arms. We're still sticking with just one at a time. You're gonna have your spare arm resting by your side. Now for the front arm, as your hand goes into the water, you're gonna to rotate towards that side. And then throughout the pull, you rotate your body through to the opposite side so that on recovery, this shoulder is then rotated towards the ceiling. Now, obviously you're gonna have your face in the water during this. So this is a little bit harder when it comes to the breathing. You'll naturally find that you'll probably want to breathe under the side of the arm that you're actually using. So it's very much about working out the correct timing and getting this right with the rotation. So if you've got enough rotation, you should be able to breathe as your hand comes over for the recovery phase. And obviously the more rotation you have, the less head movement and the easier it is. If you're ready to take it to the next level, then you can try breathing on the opposite side. So for this, you need to time it as your arm that you're pulling with is in a propulsive phase, as this will naturally rotate that shoulder up to that side. And in theory, as you've got more propulsion, you'll have a little bit more lift. So it should be easy to breathe on that side. It does just take a little bit of coordination to start with though. 
So now it's time to add in both of our arms to the swim stroke. And what this drill does is focus on the recovery phase to really start encouraging more rotation. So what we're gonna do is as our recovering arm comes out of the water, try and keep it nice and close to our body and drag it essentially from our thigh, past our hips, along our torso, up to our armpit, and then even past our ear before we drop it back into the water to start the next stroke. Now, this essentially can be thought of as zipping up the side of your body, and this action is really gonna be quite hard if we don't have good rotation. Now, ideally, you should try and avoid using fins for this drill, because it just keeps things a little bit more realistic. We're almost back to normal full stroke, and if you do naturally breathe bilaterally, then you're already there. But if not, this drill, you need to breathe every third stroke, which is basically gonna make sure that you breathe on either side. And if you currently just breathe on one side, you'll probably find that naturally you're a little bit stronger on that side, and you'll find that you're rotating more one way than you are the other. So this should just help to even out your stroke. Before we wrap things up, I do just want to reiterate that rotation needs to only be to about 45 degrees as over rotation can bring other problems with it. Now, it might seem like an awful lot of work right now, but trust us, mastering front crawl technique is definitely worth it in the long run. And hopefully you find these drills that we've incorporated today useful, but if you've got any of your own ones, please let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to read about those. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, so hit that thumb up, like button, and don't forget to find the globe on screen and get all the other videos that we have here in GTN. And if you want to see another video all about the freestyle technique explained, that is going to be here. And if you noticed our cool, colourful swim caps or any other GTN kit, then you can click on the link for the GTN shop. And then if you've got problems with sinking legs whilst you're swimming and you want some tips on that one, we've got a video that'll suit you right here.